third International Rice Congress. My name is Duncan McIntosh. I'm the Development Director for the International Rice Institute. We're particularly honoured this morning to have, honoured by their presence this morning, His Excellency, Mr. Ming Tan Zung, the Prime Minister of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, Mr. Khao Da Phat from the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, Mr. Hong Van Phong from the Ministry of Science and Technology, and the Director General of the International Rice Research Institute, Dr. Robert Ziegler, as well as many other distinguished guests, including ministers, ambassadors, and representatives from more than 60 countries and international organizations. Welcome to all of these distinguished guests, participants to the Congress, conferences, and exhibitions of the next few days. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is now my very great honor and pleasure to invite the Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam and the honoring chairman of the steering committee of the International Rice Congress 2010, His Excellency Khao Dap Phat, to give the welcome address for the Congress. Please join me in welcoming to the podium. Climate change now poses an additional threat. 
under this condition, maintaining and enhancing rice production requires scientific and technological breakthroughs. We need new varieties with high going, good quality, and short maturity duration, as well as advanced production processes that are input efficient and cost effective. Ladies and gentlemen, while we are here, the International Rice Congress, 925 million people are still suffering from hunger and poverty worldwide. Many of them are from countries where rice is a staple food. This Congress will be an excellent forum for the scientists, policy makers, and business people to share their experiences and discuss relevant issues regarding rice production and to look for the best solutions to achieve food security and poverty alleviation. The outcome of the Congress will be a practical and important contribution to the United Against Hunger movement, which was initiated by FAO on World Food Day this year. By 2050, it is our responsibility to increase global food production by 70% and to double the food production in developing countries. This is extension for to feed the world's fast-growing population. It is for that reason this Congress has adopted the theme of rice for future generations. It is our hope that with the latest advances in agricultural science and technology, and with the great efforts of the world community, especially the developing countries, we will be able to achieve our goals. On this occasion of this Congress, and on behalf of the Vietnam, Ms. Farmers, we would like to congratulate the International Rice Research Institute on its 50th anniversary, the abbreviation I, R, R, I has become very familiar to the Vietnamese, so many of them are not fully aware of what it stands for. The word IRI has been localized as a generic name for rice varieties introduced by the International Rice Research Institute in order to recognize IRI contribution to the rice production in Vietnam, the President of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam has awarded the Friendship Order to the Institute. Once again, we would like to congratulate IRI and to wish that IRI continues to grow, making more contributions to global food security and stated as the ultimate goal pursued by IRI, never an empty bowl. On behalf of the organizers, I would like to wish all of you good hand. I wish our Congress great success. Enjoy your stay in Vietnam. Thank you very much for your kind attention.